Hello, my Leos. It's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. I'm here to do your April mid-month readings for love in general. So we have the first card already. It's Love Yourself First. Hmm. Religious factors. Okay, and forgiving and learning. Wow. I feel you guys are dealing with uh, a lot of differences between you and your partner and the way that you were raised and the way that you were brought up, perhaps. Um, just things that you cannot see eye to eye on. And I feel like you guys have been compromising a lot more than you should have. And now it's time to take back your power. Um, but there are things that need to be worked through. There's issues that need to be forgiven. Let's see what this is about. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm not taking this one, but I am taking this. This is the Eight of Cups Reverse. So love yourself first. You're having trouble letting somebody go. Wow. All right. I didn't even shuffle there, so I don't want to take those. Love yourself first. The cards are really wanting to talk here, so... Three of Cups reverse. Okay, for some of you, there there have been some um, extramarital affairs, perhaps, but you still can't bring yourself to leave this person that you're with. Um, for others of you, there's just a lack of joy in the relationship, and it's like you're struggling. How long am I going to stay in a relationship where I'm not happy? You know, we're constantly at odds with each other. Let's see what this religious factor says. Yeah, see? Nine of Wands. So you continue to persist. You, you're, you're fighting for this relationship to make it work. But there's just so many differences. Okay? The Moon Reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Mm, there's a lot of water energy here. Um, so yeah, I feel like things have been discovered, uncovered, like you've seen another side to your partner, but you still continue to try to make it work. Forgiving and learning. There may have been lies, secrets that were uncovered, or just uh, overall just emotions. Okay, forgiving and learning, we have the Page of Wands reverse. The Lover's Reverse came out with the Seven of Wands. Again, I feel like you guys are giving somebody another chance. There's a persistence here to continue to try to understand, to work through some deep emotions. Um, you're trying, you're, you've made a decision to not go anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Okay, you're not going on any kind of new path or anything. You just are going to stay put and try to work on this relationship. Okay, so there is a sense of fighting for something here. Um, all right, so let's move on. We'll do the Celtic cross now and see what other messages come through. So we got the Nine of Wands again. So that's someone who feels tired with the situation. You're tired, you're beat up, but you're still trying to make it work. Six of Pentacles, reverse. You guys don't feel appreciated. You feel like your partner is taking more than, than what they're giving. And you feel like you're, you're constantly giving and giving and giving to situations. 
but it doesn't look like you're ready to put an end to that because you're still struggling with it. You're still being persistent in trying to make this work out, even though you don't feel like it's to your benefit, really, in the sense that you're not getting back um, the same amount that you're putting into this. Okay, at the foundation, we have the lovers reverse. So that's a decision that has been made, or it's just a relationship that is um, just not doing well. You're not seeing eye to eye. It's broken down. There could have been a breakup or a separation. But you're still wanting to make it work. Yeah, see, in the past, we have the Two of Cups reverse. Again, there were uh, problems within a relationship here. I feel like it's a married couple because we have the Lovers and the Two of Cups. Okay. What's crowning you is the Queen of Swords. So you want the truth. You want to be truthful. You want to tell your partner exactly what's on your mind and how things are going to go going forward. All right, because you're, I don't feel that, yeah, you're willing to persist and continue fighting for this, but only if, you know, things are done the right way. You're not going to be in a relationship where you're constantly at odds and not feeling appreciated. <clears throat> so I feel like you guys are wanting to just lay it all out there and kind of put down what your terms are uh, for you to keep moving forward in this relationship. So you're getting ready to speak your mind is what I feel. Six of Cups in the near future. There may be a reunion, a reconciliation. Going back to when times were uh, happier, lighter. How you see yourself right now is the Eight of Wands reverse. So right now, I feel like you're doing a lot more thinking than it is communicating. I don't think you're ready to communicate just yet. It's like you're uh, just you're getting ready. You're getting ready as to what you're going to say. You're getting your thoughts together. But right now, I feel like you're not communicating with your partner. How your partner sees you. King of Swords reverse. So, again, I feel like there is a blockage. There is a communication issue in this relationship where your partner doesn't know what it is that you're really thinking. I feel like there's a, a huge cloud over the both of you where you, you, you guys really don't understand each other right now. Um, you may be coming across also as very cutting, very cold, and just blocking communication, which you are, because that you come up as Eight of Wands reversed. So yeah, hopes or fears in the situation. Hopes or fears in the situation for Leo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you guys um, have spent so long <clears throat> feeling like this, like no matter what you do for anyone, it's never appreciated, that I, I, I really feel that now you're going to redirect your attention to yourself and making yourself feel stable again, feel abundant again, and self-confident. So that's not a bad idea, actually, to focus on yourself for a while. That's the, kind of what I'm seeing, and I feel like maybe that's what you want to tell your partner is that, you know what? I really don't have much energy left because I'm already tired from dealing with all of these broken relationships where I just didn't feel like people were really seeing me for who I was and how valuable I really am, how much I have to offer to people. And the little bit of energy that I have left to continue fighting, I feel like I'm going to invest this into myself. So yeah, that's what I'm getting there. So let's see the overall outcome.
Okay, overall outcome, we have the Four of Swords reversed. So somebody's coming out of a period of rest and relaxation. Maybe you had to get away from your partner to, you know, get your thoughts straight or whatever. We have the Nine of Swords reversed. So yeah, you're coming out of a time where there was high stress, high anxiety. Maybe you needed rest because you weren't getting enough sleep because, you know, all of this was going on. So yeah, you felt very, very slighted. You felt uh, betrayed, definitely. Five of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Justice Reverse. So like things were just not going your way. There's been a lot of conflict. But uh, you didn't know how to put an end to this and put these burdens down. It's like you were stuck. You know that things need to change, but it's like you don't even know where to begin. But you will. You will get that, that wake-up call that you need. We have the Judgment card here right before the Queen of Wands, which is your energy, Leo. So yeah, in order for you to heal from certain things, you have to see them from different perspectives. It's not just always about seeing things your way. But yeah, I feel like happier times are ahead. So keep your head up. All right, let's clarify. Nine of Wands. We have the Empress. So again, you know, what I was saying before, I feel like you are really putting this effort into yourself now. Now you're ready to nurture. I'm really getting yourself. Um, yeah. Because you figured out nobody else is going to do it. Six of Pentacles reverse. Hangman reverse. So yeah, something, uh, you realize something. You had like a moment where you realized just how unappreciated you were, you have been feeling. That's why you feel so beat up. It's like you love giving. You're, you're a giver, definitely. And you like to nurture everybody around you. But one day you got up and you realized that nobody was doing that for you. What is this? Lover's reverse. Okay, this wanted to come out. The Six of Wands reverse. So a relationship that just hasn't been uh, feeling very victorious. You haven't been feeling like you're getting attention, the attention that you need from your partner. That has caused a rip. Um, maybe your partner is all about themselves right now and, you know, they're not really paying attention to you. Yeah, see, Eight of Pentacles reverse. So someone's not making the effort. And that's why there was a breakdown here. In the past, we have the Two of Cups reverse. Not seeing eye to eye. Yeah, not being able to make decisions together. You're not seeing eye to eye. We have the Justice reverse card. Things were not fair in the relationship. There was an imbalance. Prince of Cups reverse. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, but this person could have been a little bit manipulative. Just doing things for their own benefit. What's crowning you is the Queen of Swords. So you're looking for the truth and you want to express the truth as well. But I do feel like there is a hesitancy because you're seeing yourself as the Eight of Wands reverse. Six of Swords reverse. Wow. You're trying to figure things out because you can't just pick up and leave your partner. And that, that's how you're feeling. So you're trying to make sense of everything and figure things out. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a slow approach here with the uh, Prince of Pentacles. You're wanting to get yourself back on your feet to feel more stable, but it's going to take some time. Okay, so you're taking your time to figure out your next steps and what is the best thing for you. <clears throat> In the near future, we have the Six of Cups. So I feel like the Six of Cups is about going back to a happier time or somebody from your past coming back or maybe you're reuniting with your partner queen of cups again water sign cancer pisces scorpio i feel like there is a renewal here uh, of emotions If you've been, because the outcome here is the Four of Swords reverse, so 
um, it kind of gives me the idea that you may be separated for, right now from your partner. And if that's the case, I feel like there will be a reunion that will be very emotional. It's like you're going to realize that you did miss this person, that you do love this person. Okay, we have two. <laughs> Interesting. Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, I feel like um, there's going to be like a reunion and, you know, where you both feel that love recip being reciprocated. So you're both feeling like, oh, they really did miss me. Oh, they really do care about me. And maybe I don't need to take or, you, you know, go look for a new beginning someplace else or take any action right now because, you know, we do love each other. So why are you seeing yourself as the Eight of Wands reverse? We have the Four of Pentacles reverse, okay? So right now you guys don't want to talk because you're just about ready to let go of everything. Like you're so fed up that, and that's why you, you have this blockage in communication right now because it's like you don't want to say something that you're going to regret later on. flipped here yes okay five of wands yeah there's just too much conflict you're afraid you're going to say the wrong thing in the heat of the moment and so you'd prefer not to communicate at all right now um, and your partner is seeing that as just being very cold cold and ruthless and unfeeling uh, yeah tower reverse they want to stop you know a breakup from happening uh, also, they could be seeing you as cutting off communication because you don't want any further drama um, to make things worse. Uh, hopes or fears, we had the Nine of Pentacles. Which again, I really feel like it's uh, you putting energy into yourself, loving yourself, giving yourself, yeah. See, we have the Two of Cups reverse. So you've been through some heartache. You've been through some tough times in... in I feel like in relationships in general, especially your your relationship here, your love relationship, um, and it's like not really working out. So you're hoping that all that energy that you gave to your partner, you can give to yourself, okay? Because you're really unsure. You don't know what's going on or what's going to happen within this relationship. You don't know. So the safest bet is for you to invest in yourself right now, and I feel like that's what you're going to do. Um, and your overall outcome is a Four of Swords, reverse. So you're coming out of a period of rest. Maybe you took a vacation. You needed to get away. We have the Seven of Cups because there was a lot of confusion around you. You wanted to explore other options, figure out what it is that you want and what you want to do. Okay, and you just wanted to be happy. I feel like now uh, you're ready to come out of hiding wherever you've been. You're ready to get back into things and you, you just want to explore situations that are going to lead you to happiness. With the Nine of Cups, to me, that's like happiness for yourself. It's more like um, self-satisfaction. It's not so much like the big happy family, which would be the Ten of Cups. So again, I feel like right now, oh, wow, okay, we have the Ten of Swords. Hmm. So what I'm going to say is I definitely get strongly this message that Leos are now refocusing their energy toward themselves. And I feel like it's about time, to be quite honest with you. Um, there will be relationships that survive this and others will not. Okay, it just depends. Uh, the reason I wouldn't get too worried about this Ten of Swords, in some cases this will be, you know, Leos coming to a decision of leaving someone ending a relationship in other cases this is just you are going to with the seven of cups here leave all your options open and ending a relationship is one of them because right now what's most important to you is your happiness your emotional fulfillment because i feel like you've been sacrificing that for a very long time and now it's time to focus on leo okay so good for you guys i'm really happy to hear that let's uh, move on to your general reading and see if 
that translates into your careers and finance or what what's going on there. All right. So for your general reading, I'm going to be using the Spanish Tarot, which I've used before. And for the clarifiers, I'm using the Sun and Moon Tarot, for those of you who are interested. Do one more shuffle. Okay, and we're ready. Fortune reverse. You might be experiencing delays or have been experiencing delays or blockages um, in things changing in your life. Maybe you're expecting some type of change or some type of uh, something to occur, some event to happen, and there's just been a blockage. Okay, you're coming up here as the Queen of Wands reverse, so yes blockages for you that have been making you feel not confident, not yourself, or just unfortunate events that are making you feel vulnerable. Uh, what is this? The Eight of Cups reverse. Again, not being able to walk away emotionally from situations. You're like still, uh, whatever has happened to you here that has caused for you to feel almost um, like you've lost some kind of battle or something. It's like you're, you're very unable to, to leave it in the past emotionally. We have the Six of Wands reverse, so there's some uh, lack of victory in something, but you still are not able to turn your back and leave. Five of Swords reverse. So we need to put our swords down in a situation here. Somebody needs to in order to be able to move forward. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands reverse. Okay, so that's not taking action. We have the Four of Cups reverse um, and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, there's something you're not taking action on something. You're going to be letting go of things that you see that don't serve you that don't uh, give you any returns on the energy that you've been putting into them. It's like you're over it. The Five of Cups, okay, all that mourning that you did, all that sadness, you're going to be getting over it because it's time for a new beginning. Okay, there's something that um, you were dealing with that you was taking up a lot of your thoughts, a lot of mental space, and that is no longer going to be the case. You're going to have a new beginning, and you're going to, Get rid of those reoccurring thoughts that you've been having. Okay. All right, so Wheel of Fortune reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse. Some of you uh, could have been let go from a job uh, in the past. It was an unfortunate event there that threw your life, well, you feel like it threw you off course, but it was probably meant to happen. This was, uh, you know, something that was destined with the Wheel of Fortune. There's not something, it's not something that you had control over. We have the Nine of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, I do feel like some of you have lost your job in the past um, and you're struggling now to get yourself back on your feet. You're not feeling like yourself. You're not feeling as confident and independent as you usually feel. <clears throat> justice. You're looking for justice uh, to make yourself feel better about what happened. It's like somebody wronged you and you want to see that this is made right, that, you know, justice is served. But 
shift. As you know, we don't always get to see that. Okay, we have the sun and we have the ten of cups reverse. There's going to be clarity here on a matter that made you very upset, that put you into this state. I feel like for some of you, some of you may get um, the justice that you were waiting for. Or there's clarity about some kind of decision. Okay, Eight of Cups reverse we have with the Princess of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you still can't get over an opportunity that was lost. Or that um, you, you're, it's almost like you're focusing on the past, something that has already happened. You haven't been able to get over it. And this is what's been hindering your progress. That's why new opportunities haven't been able to show up for you. There's a blockage there because your focus is all on the past. The Hermit Reverse. So yeah, I feel like you um, are going to realize this. You know, you're going to realize this through soul searching, through, you know, examining yourself and how you've been reacting to all of this. You have the Six of Wands Reverse, which is a lack of victory, lack of recognition. Here's the Empress Reverse. Wands reverse again. Um, again, I feel like this is about you guys being stuck in a situation that doesn't serve you, but it's like it's already happened and you're still stuck there. You're not making that choice to take action to move forward. You're not nurturing anything, putting any energy toward anything new. You're just wanting to, like you, you're stuck wanting to fix what went wrong in the past. Okay, but you are going to end up putting your swords down, ending that power struggle or that conflict that you were in. <clears throat> yeah, good. Nine of swords coming up reverse. So that's exactly how we want to see it. This is going to be a thing of the past, I feel, by the end of April. Um, if you've been having arguments with someone, conflict in the workplace, um, just stuck mentally on an issue, some kind of power issue that you were involved in in the past, I think you're going to finally be able to overcome that uh, toward the end of April. Uh, going into May, perhaps. Cool. Okay, yeah, Queen of Swords, because you're able to now see things clearly, think more logically. It's like, you know, that fog kind of lifts and you're able to see as far as the eye can, can you know, can see. Look, there's all these birds here, so it's like your whole thought process kind of changes. And you're no longer stuck in this situation that was, you just weren't going to win ever. So, yeah. That's what I'm getting for you guys. All right. Not bad. I feel like most of what you have been dealing with already happened. This is just you finally uh, putting that past you and, and being able to move forward uh, with a clear mind now. You know, not letting all those memories kind of bog you down. So looking better. We're, we're making progress, Leo. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.